Well, I think once you once you look at the kind of songs PJ has written, I think when you when you hear them at, in the moment, and, or when you are back in the eighties and a song becomes a hit or whatever, and, you know. You hear a song and you listen to it and you dance to it, or it becomes part of your architecture or your soundtrack, or your life soundtrack. But then when you go back and you have to um, analyze a song and, and look at it in its time, look at it in its place, look at its rhythms, look at its writing, look at the, at the song, at the words themselves, those were, that, that is what I found the most interesting is that in PJ songs, particularly the, the ones that have to do with loving South Africa. Um, there is an answer. Even even the, 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 the her first uh, "You're So Good to Me" well, and and those other songs are beautifully crafted, popular songs. Um, so going in, I've never really done that. You don't get an opportunity to do that with with, with many um, pieces of music, unless you have it on a score sheet or you've got the lyrics there on a, in a CD box. So that is a really nice thing to do, a surprising thing to do, was to go back and look at the music and find clips on YouTube and listen to them again and listen to the lyrics and seeing where the rhythm is, where she's got natural rhythm of being able to write it in a certain way um, and to incorporate quite, first of all, very small things in songs about a relationship or very big things in songs or otherwise just like um, Jabulani, which I know uh, George Van Dijk wrote but still, the singing of it is just, it's just a happy song it's a really happy song so those things were nice and surprising and, and interesting to, to explore